Greetings! My lecture today is Nitrin Shonen was a black man. What? Did, did you hear me? I said my lecture today is that the Japanese founder of Nitrin Buddhism was a black man. Now, some of the folk out there are going to say, I know some white folk are going to say, this, this nigga going crazy. This nigga is crazy. Talk about Nitrin Shonen was a black man. Well, I'm here today to tell you that Nitrin Shonen was a black man. And any of you who can dispute this, I challenge you to get me some archaeological, anthropological, historical, written documentation that Nitrin Shonen was not a black man. Let's get into our lecture because this is going to be one of these goodies today. Now, I want you to hear me good. Nitrin Shonen was a black man. Now, certainly he was Japanese, but he was a black man. Please understand, Nitrin sets like the SGI, Nitrin Shoshu, and Nitrin Shu, they all teach Mahayana Buddhism. Now, Mahayana Buddhism is the time that happened in Buddhism where Buddhism was separated by race, linguistics, or language, and culture. That's when the change came into Buddhism, and most of these sects, they are Mahayana Buddhism. Mahayana Buddhism involves the Sanskrit language because Buddhism moved from the Pali language of Haskit into Mahayana. And when the white races, or when the races wrote the Sanskrit Buddhism or taught in Sanskrit, they extricated all of the black history from Buddhism. So, if you're involved with the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu and Nichiren Shu, the farthest thing that you're going to get from the teachings that you would never know that Nichiren Shonen was a black man. Now, uh, secondly, the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shushu sets teach. They teach a Buddhism that ignores science, history, and they ignore the facts of Buddhism. では、日本人の祖先はアフリカからどのようにして日本列島にやってきたのでしょうか。私たちの祖先の一部は中近東を経てヨーロッパに渡る集団と分かれアジアに移動しました。人々は移り住んだ土地の環境によって白人、黒人
in dogomy. That is the reason that the Japanese are so white, is that they too adopted the racist culture of endogmity and what they did was they bred and the reason that they're white is because of breeding or selective breeding that happened in India. The same thing happened in India in the AD time period when the Mahayana Buddhism came out and people of the world moved toward racism. Now, DNA evidence, that is, archaeology, anthropology, and DNA evidence can take any Japanese man or woman. They can take the genetic code and target exactly when Japanese ancestry went from black to white. They have already did that and what they found out, there's nothing unique about Japanese that most other Japanese ancestry come from the Chinese. The Korean ancestry is a little bit different, but moreover, the Japanese are more Chinese than anything, and the Chinese come from black people. Now, all you have to do, if you want to understand Japanese, we do not have to look any further into history to find black Japanese history and culture. If you want to learn the black cultures in Japan, one has to look no further than the Japanese art, writing, culture, and history. If you look at ancient Japanese paintings and look at the people, you will find the inclusion of black people and you will find a darker Japanese, and you will find black history in ancient Japan because the blacks were in ancient Japan. Now, one has to look no further than the ancient capital of Japan and Nara and see the black Buddha at Toji Temple. Just Google the first shogun of Japan and you will see a black man. If you study the Gohanzan or our object of worship of Nichiren Shonen, it will look like a black history book. If you look at all the gods on the Gohanzan, Nichiren Shonen didn't put nothing but black gods on the Gohanzan. Furumyo and Aizen Myo and all Bishamon and all the black god, all the gods on the Gohanzan was black. The Gohanzan looked like a black history book because the Buddha was black and Buddhism is the same as Buddhist history, same as black history. Now, the name in Japan, let's first of all deal with the name Nagasaki. Naga was the name of the ancient black Buddhists. They were called the Nagas. That's why you see Naga Singa. That's why you see the Nagas. They were Naga Buddhists and the Naga means snake or the Naga means dragon and in Japan you got the town or the city called Nagasaki. Nagasaki comes from the black word Naga and Saki means like snake or drunk snake. Now uh, the name Nagasaki comes from the snake people. Now, Naga means dragon, and Nitrin, now listen, Nitrin comes from the Naga Sea district in Japan. So it's not for flesh that Nitrin was black. The name Naga Sea or Naga comes from black. Now, let us get one thing absolutely clear. The best way to prove that Nitrin Shonen was a black man is by reading the words of Nitrin himself. In the Ghost Show, Banishment to Sato, Nitrin writes, quote, Nitrin is the son of a Chandelo family who lived near the sea of Tojo in Atwat province in the remote countryside of the eastern part of Japan. In the Gosho letter, 
Tusado, Nitchin writes, the Gosho letter from Sado reads, the persecution Nitrin has faced are the result of karma formed in previous lifetimes. The never dispersing chapter reads, quote, when his offenses have been worked out, indicating that Bodhisattva never disparaging was vilified and beaten by countless slanderers of the correct teaching because of his past karma. How much more true this is of Nichiren, who in this life was born poor and lowly to a Chandela family. Nichiren Shonen was clear. He was born poor and lowly. He also made it clear in two, letter, two go show letters that he was part of the Chandela family. Now, we do not care how the Japanese twist it, redefine it, interpret it when it comes to the word Chandela. That means you are black. Science proves that the caste system did not start into India until 1900 years ago. Caste comes from the word Vana, which means color. A Chandela is known absolute by his color. One cannot be white and be a Chandela. A Chandela is not known by his job. A Chandela is known for his color of being black. When you read the Japanese definition of Chandela, they will tell you that this was the job. And they leave out the most important fact that Chandela is a Chandela because of his skin color. Let us give you some documented evidence. I want you to read what we call the Brahman curse. Now the Brahmins hated the Buddhists and the Buddhists were black. Now this is something out of Brahman writings. It says, quote, Tashenko was angered by his by their derisive laughter. He stood erect and said, If you and your father refuse to help me out, can I not find someone to do it? I will get the help from someone else and perform the necessary sacrificial rite. The bold reply peaked the sons of Vashita. They say it. Because you have turned a traitor to your guru, you shall become a Chandela. Immediately, King Trashanka lost his color and beauty. He became black, his hair became rough, and he indeed became a Chandela. His followers and ministers left him in disgust. Trashanka's grief knew no bounds. In the Hindu teachings or in the Brahman teachings, a Chandela is known simply as a black person with hair like mine. That is what a Chandela is. Now, in the Nitrin Shoshu writings or magazine, there was a Reverend Kimura. He writes this about the Chandela. In ancient Indian society, Chandela referred to the lowest class of people in charge of butchering animals. Shakyamuni, who made his event in the world 3,000 years ago, and Tentai in China and Dingyo, Japan, were born into royalty. The highest classes in their respective societies, they were born into royalty, so their noble position would easily enable the people in society to believe in true Buddhism. Among the followers of the Buddhist sects in Japan during the lifetime of the Dashonin, Hoen of the Jodo sect, for example, was the child of a wealthy and powerful family. Itzel, well-known founder of the Ritsu school of Zen, came from a heritage steeped in Shinto shrines. Moreover, Shinra and Denjo were both born into nobility. Now, that is what Nichiren shows you. And Nichiren Shu teaches 
Now, one does not become a Chandela because of his class. One becomes a Chandela, Chandela because of his color. Nitrin writes in Benjamin Tassado, Nitrin is the son of a Chandela family. In the letter from Sado, Nitrin writes, Nitrin in this life was born to a poor and lowly Chandela family. We hold that Chandela means not poor or not a fisherman. A Chandela means black. Nitrin means that he was born into a black family. You had black people in ancient Japan. Now, I want you to look up a name or Google a name. The name is Dr. Alexander Francis Chamberlain. He was born in 1865. He died in 1914. He was America's first anthropologist. And he writes in a journal on race. And he says, quote, And we can't, can cross the whole of Asia and find the Negro again and win in far off Japan the ancestors of the modern Japanese were making their way northward against the Anu, the aborigines of that country. The leader of the armies was Sakanoye Tamaro, a famous general and a Negro. Black people were a part of Japanese people. You can see this in the people of Japan. Nitrin started at the age of 32 by denouncing all Mahayana schools of his time and declaring that the correct teachings of the universal Dharma was only Namu Myoho Renge Kyo and shining as the only path for personal and social salvation. Just as the Shogun of Japan was black, it took an, Alexand an American, Alexander Francis Chamberlain, an American anthropologist to tell you that the first shogun of Japan was black. Nitrin writes in the Ghost Show, Banishment to Sado, Nitrin writes, Nitrin is the son of a Chandela who lived near the sea of Tojo in our province, in remote countryside of the eastern part of Japan. Of Japan. A Chandela family is only a black family. If Nitrin identifies himself as a black Chandela family, that makes Nitrin Shonen black. And that's all it is. Nitrin was black. I am Anthony F. Elmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me. What's a land I see? Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what's a land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what's a land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what's a land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what's a land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. All ancient icons show a simple fact. They all show that the Buddha was black. I believe in facts and the Kato was wrong. Buddha was no Aryan. This song saw the history by those who rewrite history. Both that so that there's something to understand. It was a thousand years after Buddha's death, his teacher ride in Japan. Let me tell you something that makes sense. The Buddha's teachings did not start in the Orient. Those of you make a religious decision, the Buddha's teaching no ancient religion. The Buddha's religion has a lot of mystery. Ancient took out all the black Buddhist history. Let me lay on you the history and the facts. Look at the ancient Buddhist statues, he's always right. Let me lay this on you all the black Buddhist history and take out all the Buddhist mystery. The land today they call India. In the old days, it was called Eastern Ethiopia. The first people in the land were called Dravidian. The same people that they were called Nubian. It is the land where we find the birth of racism. It all started in a religion called Brahmanism.